What's going on guys, it's me Manny here and welcome to a new gameplay of Five Nights at Wario's. Now, this is one of the games I always wanted to play for a long time. Ever since when it came out, I always wanted to play this game. And also I just wanted to say guys, this was uh, this is like a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game if you guys are wondering. And this was made by WW Wario and, uh, and I just want to say WW Wario if you're watching this bro, you're your Finance of Warriors games are amazing, and I know about his games and stuff like that, but I always wanted to play for so long. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. It's a new game. And yeah, this game is kind of pretty creepy. It's really creepy. There once was an anime named Wario who worked along with a friend of his on Wario's own fast food factory. And I'm going to talk about that. One day, however, the two went missing and they were never found. Since that day, the factory has been closed due to people thinking the factory was cursed. Seven years later, the government decided to reopen the factory and start the production again. One not, one man has gotten the job as a guard during the night. Okay. So, right now we're playing as... A guard obviously but he does have a name which I'm probably gonna have to explain because this is this is this there's a story behind this that I have to tell you about oh my god I always wanted to play this game oh my I am so excited hello hello, hello? are you there yeah oh, great well um welcome to Wario's your new summer job so this place recently got reopened and you are, in fact, the first person to work on this location after it's reopening. Yep, I'm the first person. So that's quite person, an honor, don't you think? To work um, on this before reopening. Before we begin, you might have heard some rumors or something about something going on here about seven years ago. Oh, um, yeah. Just don't worry about that and don't think about it like at I all. Like I said, there's a story you behind know, it. I'm sure it's just silly rumors of some kind. So you have nothing to worry about. Anyways, your job here is pretty simple. Watch the security cameras around the building to make sure that everything works correctly. This place is pretty old now, and we haven't really got really much old. time yet to fix everything around the building. Hmm. So the rooms are pretty old and dusty and maybe rotten. Oh, yeah. And the machines might not work correctly. So yep. that's why we need you to keep an eye and on I have 200% sure power guys, which is so right. good because this is like double also, 100. If it should be it's like the 100 times 2. The lights, so that's 200 right there. So I got double the power, the which is more right. good and more you can also close off power. This door so yeah. This but please only shut those doors and turn off those lights if absolutely necessary. Oh, you you only have a limited camera. supply of power for now, so we don't really want to waste much camera money. On this one. So, um, yeah, good luck. Oh, Just keep an eye on things. Check your cameras pretty fast, I guess, to make sure that you don't use too much power. Oh, and I will, you don't really worry. have Not anything more to worry <laughs> about. You're sitting here until 6 a.m. and someone will come and take your spot. All so, right. again, good luck, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, I see you. I see you there, Wario. Oh, no. You've been missing all along. You've been missing for seven years. That's a shame, Wario. And oh, he brought he brought his brother with him, Waluigi. Oh man, look at Waluigi's arms. They're like long as heck. Same thing with his legs too. God, Waluigi is like the creepiest one. He is really creepy. And yes, there is a story behind this where he, the phone guy was just talking about how they were missing like seven years ago. Because they were killed seven years ago. And these are just like their spirits roaming around their building. Oh, there's Waluigi. Oh, hello, Waluigi. Look at his head. It's like looking at me. It's like, I'm going to kill you. Okay. So this is just going to be two of them for, for tonight. So... Wario still there. Um, nothing bad is gonna. Oh shoot, it's Waluigi. Oh, he's in there. Are you trying to say something, Waluigi? He's about saying wee wee. <laughs> That's what they always say, which is pr pretty obvious. Oh, 
okay. Um, so what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, um, there is a killer who killed all of those, who killed Wario, Waluigi, and there's more than one character in here instead of Wario and Waluigi. There's Mario, there's Luigi, there's Peach, there's those kind of characters in here, in here, so, there's Wario. Oh, he went back for some reason. That is creepy. Okay, Waluigi's back there. Alright, um, like I was saying, there was a killer, there's a killer's name for it. I know who it is, but I'll go ahead and say it anyway, because since, since you guys want me to talk more during the night. So his name is his name, Bruno Gay. That's his name. The killer's name was Bruno Gay, who killed all of these plumbers. So yeah, and also I've always been a big fan of Mario and stuff like that. But I'm surprised that they made a finance of Warriors out of this, which is really cool. But anyways, back to the story. So as I was saying... So this is after seven years ago. I'm playing as a night guard who goes by Richard McRoy, which um, which who, who we're playing right now, obviously. And that um and the characters die in different ways. Like for an example, um what was his name? Oh, there's Wario. He's getting pretty close. Like for example, Wario he got stabbed. Same thing with Waluigi. And same thing with the Princess Peach. And also, Mario got hung by his neck. And Luigi's... No, wait. No, wait. I'm sorry. Mario got his head chopped off. Sorry. Which I know that might sound a little bit more dark. But it's true. And Luigi got hung by his neck. So, you'll see a little bit of an Easter egg of him get, getting hung. Which is pretty disturbing. Why is taking so much of my power? Okay. 4 a.m. That that scared me. Oh my god. I'm like so I'm like happy to play this game, guys. This is so fun. Is he gonna be there? I'm just gonna the door just in case. <laughs> oh, he's still there. Where's Waluigi? Okay, he's still there. Doing his little wing. Alright, so as I was saying, those were the deaths of the Wario's um, Wario's friend the rest of the game. Um and there's more to the story, guys, if you guys didn't know. Which I'm probably gonna talk about like like now. I'm gonna talk about it now. So, so if you realize that one of the phone calls is important, one of them is important, guys, so you have to listen very carefully for the phone call sometimes, because it, because he, excuse me about that, he talks about more about the past, but if you guys don't want to hear the backstory, it's pretty interesting, if you guys don't want to hear it, then fine, you don't, you don't have to hear it, you can just get out. You don't have to watch the video. That's all I'm just saying. But if if you guys want to watch the video, then go ahead and just keep watching. Um. Uh, stop trying me. It's about to turn 6 a.m. Oh, I know. I think about it. It just turned 6 a.m. <laughs> wow. We already made it 6 a.m. That was actually pretty easy. Really easy. Okay. Now on to the second night. Oh, all right. And there, there's some Easter eggs, guys, that are pretty, pretty cool. And I've seen the Easter eggs before. Like, there's something that's supposed to appear right there. There's a, like a girl named Emma who's supposed to be there, but I don't um, think we'll see her in a little bit. There, I told you it wouldn't be a problem. Um, you didn't happen to see anything unusual during the night, did oh, you? Oh wait, hold on. Like uh, a machine not working or something? P probably not. Unless you working. did a good job, all machines were working during the oh. day. 
So just keep it up. Talking about the factory. Um, probably. Yeah, about that rumor I mentioned yesterday. Oh um, yeah, the basement. The, the thing is. That's where they all got killed, I think. Or, or you know what? Just never mind. You didn't want to explain that. that, so that's how. Just that's keep how doing what you're doing. I'm explaining it to you. Um, I should probably mention though, n not to scare you or anything, but I'm uh, not really scared. It is a little fact that uh, maybe it's you should like know I'm about. Actually, yeah. As you might know, the factory closed down seven years ago. Okay, listen. And yeah, you probably know that uh, Wario and the rest of the gang who was here, um, well, they were never found. So we don't really know what happened to them. But, but anyways, that's not the point. So six years ago, um, uh, one year after the factory got Wait, six years down, ago? I thought it was seven. A woman passing by the abandoned factory she claimed to Wait. see Wario in the window. Oh no, that was he's talking about who? Difference. He's talking about from the and past. The same thing happened to a of man the cameraman last who year. saw so who went really in Wario's factory. By that. Sorry about that. Do you that. know anything about this? I know everything about this. Trust me, I know everything about this. Happened to twice, so they were probably just something they imagined. So yeah, check those cameras. Oh, see if I forgot. And only use the doors and lights. So oh, wait a minute. Like. There you are, Luigi. So keep up the good work. Hi, and Luigi. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Luigi's my favorite, bro. Uh, Luigi has always been my favorite, guys. He, I love Luigi. Uh, where's Wario? I don't see Wario. There's Luigi. This, there's an Easter egg for him. Oh, there it is. There it is. I called it. So he's like hanging, I mean he's floating because he died by hanging. So, oh my god, that was an amazing Easter egg. I'm glad I caught that. Oh my god. Oh, wait, what the? I, okay, thank god. Wait, where's Luigi? Where's Luigi? Okay, there he is. Okay, there's Waluigi. Where's Wario? There's Wario. Oh man, freaking Luigi is the GOAT, guys. He is literally the GOAT. Wait, where's Wario? Okay, good, he's back there. None of them shot him at my door yet, but, but Wario, almost, he almost did. Where is he? Where's Waluigi? Okay, there's Waluigi. Oh no, he's about to show about my doubt. Where's Wario? Okay, where's Wario? War uh, Luigi is in the control room, so I'm guessing he's gonna show up later on. Okay. Oh shoot, he's there. Way! Hey Luigi. Sorry, I just shut the door on you, pal. I just had to, because you were gonna kill me. Sorry about that, guys. Has some random person just. Ah! Oh, oh man, silly Luigi. Can you please leave? Oh, we're still there. Get it. Close the door. I don't understand. How are they gonna stay long in there? They're gonna stay there like way too long. I swear. Is he going? God, oh, Luigi, you're gonna waste too much of my power, just like how Bonnie does in Five Nights at Freddy's One. I swear, if he's not. God, he's not gonna leave. I'm screwed. Okay. Okay, thank God he left. I thought he was gonna be all. Uh, what was his name? Bonnie? I thought he was gonna be like Bonnie. Oh, shoot, I forgot. I forgot to mention. The, the When you turn on the lights, they don't actually turn off when you flip out the camera. I forgot to mention. It's a weird bug. But okay, okay, there's Wario, there's Waluigi, but where's Luigi? Okay, Lu Luigi's back. Oh shoot, Waluigi's here. Hey, Waluigi. I'm gonna keep the door shut. Oh shoot, shouldn't have done that. It took 82% of my power. Now it took 2% of my power. Right, actually, it took 2% of my power away. Now it's okay. Did you leave? Ah! Still there. 
3 a.m. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, guys. I feel like I'm gonna run out of power. Just don't do that. But yeah, um, this game is pretty good. This game, or actually, this game is really good. This game is really good. Not little, really good. It has an interesting story, guys. If you guys, if you guys want the full story of this, guys, you had to check out WW Wario, um, Five Nights at Wario's full story of this, because there is a timeline to this, which is really good. It's really good. What was I gonna say? Um, that even though like in like WW Wario, he tried his best at 2014. Like in 2014, I think he um. He did Five Nights at Wario. He created Five Nights at Wario. But I think six years later, I think, when it was 2020 or 2019, I don't remember. But he changed up the game. Now it has, like, these cool Easter eggs and stuff like that. He fixed the graphics and everything, which is good. Luigi's still there. He doesn't want to leave. I swear. He, I swear. Oh, because look at the door right there. It's not really a door. It's more, it looks like a window. I mean, it it is a window because I can tell because you can see the um, those blinders, shadow blinders right there. And and it, it reminds me, oh, shoot. Hey, well, we should, it reminds me of those shadow blinders over there at my at my at my room right there. So yeah. Anyways, still there. I swear, he's not gonna. Waluigi's never gonna leave unless he wants to. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, WW Wario. He's actually he actually made good Five Nights at Wario's games, including this one. This one is pretty easy, but when you get move on to two, two Five Nights at Wario's two, three, and four, and and Origins and the five shows at Wario's, which I'll talk about, it's actually really good. And I just hit a six a.m. Yay! I'm probably gonna move on to another night because clearly this is way too easy, way too easy. And also, if you guys haven't already, go check out his games and stuff like that. They're so good. They're really good. I'm telling you. They're really good. Hello? Oh, yeah, and also I forgot to mention, the phone caller's name is, I think his name hello. is James, I think. Hello, hello. Oh, well, shoot. look at that. Your third night. We've done a good so job. James is talking to me. You've managed to save the power. Great. So, yep. just keep up the good work you've done. Okay. Um, there is something that I maybe should mention. The no stories around the things that oh. happened seven years ago. There it is. Well, they, they are in fact um, true. Well, nobody knows really what happened. But what we know is that on a Monday about seven years ago, Wario and Waluigi went to work. And as you probably have heard somewhere, they went missing, they never came back from work, and they never came out of the factory. Okay. And later the same night, Mario and Luigi... Yeah, yeah they went yes, into the yes. ...to look for them. But the thing is, Peace is they in here, and never Mario. came out either. And people have also mentioned that Mario's uh, girlfriend or some sort... Uh, a peach or something? Exactly. I don't know if that's correct name. It is correct, you got it right, she James. She went in to look for Mario think? when he went missing. And apparently she was never found either. He got killed by she got and killed by Bruno Peach Gates. disappeared. Someone came up with a rumor of the factory being cursed or something. It is cursed. And they decided which to I'll close explain it off. later. At the um, when the phone we have done. not really any clue on what really happened. Though some witnesses have said that early in the morning on that same day an unknown person went into the factory. And, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, nobody really knew who that person was or anything. I think I know who and it is. And the weird thing is, he never came out either. We also had a Wario costume in the back room. Oh, no, it's not. You know, for mascot purposes. That's Wario Man. And the weird thing, um, that costume actually disappeared on that same day. Oh, yeah. So we don't really know where it is. So, yeah. The factory has a bit of a dark backstory, I guess. It does. It really has a backstory, dark backstory, but it's, backstory, but it's so good, guys. By the way, have you me. been doing something to the machine in the machinery room? We no. came to work earlier today, and Not really. the machine was turned off. 
And as far as we know, these machines are protected with a code of some sort that really only the employees or previous employees know about. You haven't touched that or something, have you? No. Oh well, it's back on again now. So oh. just hang in there, and I will speak to you tomorrow. Okay. See ya. Okay, guys. Um, uh, how to explain how the factory is cursed and stuff like that? So hold on, I need to focus on like trying to focus on not letting these spirits not coming after me. And they're spirits, not animatronics, guys, because they net they did, because in this. Because this is like a totally different game, guys. And it does sound the same. It's because... Because... How do I say it? It's because WWE wanted that in the first place. But instead, by using um, animatronics, he used spirits as rituals. So, yeah. And But what I mean by rituals, I'm talking about, like, like in the game... Like how like the factory was all cursed like in the beginning, um, Wario like the Wario the owner of the factory, he was making like not much money at first, but when he but he saw a book like on the ground, like it was sticking out of the dirt, and it was and it wasn't just ordinary book guys, it was a witch's book by the by the 20th century and and he would do anything for money on that point guys and um so then he started to read read it and then and he used one of the rituals of, of that book and the whole factory was cursed everything was just cursed that they would uh exchange money for souls and stuff like that like souls so when they died by, and when they get killed when they got killed by bruno gates what the heck oh my god that was emma that was emma guys i got that easter egg oh my god emma's the creepiest emma is so creepy i swear she is so creepy Is she gone? Okay, good, she's gone. But yeah, this game is really creepy, guys. Including Emma. She is so creepy. Alright, guys. Hold on. What was I? Hold on. I, hold on. I was planning something. I forgot. Hold on. Oh, yeah. It was one of the rituals. So, yeah. After when they died. After when they got killed by Bruno. They started to come back to life. Due to the um, ritual. But they started to become more evil, more bad, more hatred. So then when they came back to life, they started to get killed by, well, not really. I mean, sorry. Bruno started to see that, and he was shocked. So when he saw that, that's when the whole Wario game started to kill him right there. So then, after that... They still needed to free their souls so that way they can go to heaven. Like a free joy. That scared me to let me grab out of me again. Alright, so they needed joy from all of this. Because they all they they suffered so much. And that they needed to find Bruno Gates to say sorry. But he was still alive because like because now he's a spirit now. For some reason, because I don't, I don't, I didn't, because, uh, hold on, give me a second, guys, give me a second. Because for some reason, he, he was a spirit, and, um, it's a fly. Okay, I think he left. Oh, heck no. Oh, no, it's replaced with Wario. Frick. Um, oh, I, I forgot what I was like saying. Get out of there, Wario fly in my room and so annoying oh my god um oh, i forgot what i was saying again guys oh yeah how wario man or bruno gays i'm just gonna call him bruno because that's easy for me to remember um oh great we got a whole family um i think i'm just gonna survive guys 
But as I was saying, um, um, God dang, I forgot again, guys. I'm sorry. Um, oh yeah, how he became um a spirit for some reason. I don't know. He just became a spirit by without the um, the the ritual. So then they needed him to say sorry, sorry, and they would be free. So yeah. But there's more to this story, guys, which I want to explain, but but then again, I don't think it's right yet. Okay, we've made it. I don't think it's the right time to yet to tell about the story more about it. So I guess that's going to be today's video, guys, because now I told you almost everything, almost kind of everything about the story, but there is a little bit more to the story. That it's pretty important, but oh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it, or I'll, I'll let him, or not let him talk. I'll, uh, I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and end the video, but first let me mute the talk. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys, and uh, and thank you guys so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. Bye.